Of course, Comic Con returns today. So much excitement. This, by the way, is after two years of only happening in the virtual world. And Fox 5's Raul Martinez, also known as Thor, and Shelly Zamarodi, known as Hella, Hello. <laughs> once again bringing us live coverage from the big event. Let's go to the Hard Rock Hotel and check in with them. Good morning. Good morning. Why are you looking at Christina? Good morning. I don't. I don't know. I was gonna do my Batman voice, but it's not. No, that's Thor's Batman. voice. The story hey, everybody. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, we're so excited. The chief is with us. This is the first time since 2019 that we have been here. That Comic Con has been back in person. Uh, we're happy to be back. You're happy to be in that ridiculous costume. I'm happy to be back in this amazing costume. This is not what? ridiculous, Chief. Well, is this ridiculous? <laughs> Do we look ridiculous? I think you look great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. He'll Chief say, knows the right thing. Yeah, to he'll, say. he'll say that until I poke him with one of these sharp things. I'm going to stand over here. Chief, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Oh, wait, As, they worked hard on this. I want to say this part. Okay, Because it ahead. sounded cool. Okay, you ready, Chief? Yeah. Caped crusaders and sci-fi superheroes will fill downtown this weekend. <laughs> oh, but they won't be the only ones on patrol. <laughs> Thank you for letting you me feel better that, that yeah, you I did feel, that. Yeah. Uh, that was good. It's been, Thank you. <laughs> it's been a few years, Chief. It has. So, you know, we're really excited about being back. I remember, you know, I used to do this as a lieutenant for special events and just being back and seeing the crowd and the excitement. It's great to have Comic-Con back and the police department's prepared for it. We're ready for it. We want everybody to be safe. We want everybody to have a great time. And again, thank you for having me this morning. In, in, in terms of advice, we want everybody obviously to stay safe, yes. not just health-wise, but uh, we don't want anybody to become a victim of crime or anything like that. Right. Common sense always plays a key role when we have you on talking about Comic-Con. What advice can you give the folks here? Maybe they're new to San Diego, maybe some of the locals as well. When you're here, when you're walking around downtown and inside. Yeah, it's just be situationally aware. Yeah. Uh, and kind of pay attention to what's going on, you know, Get your face out of your phone. I like to say, kind of walk with with a purpose. Know what you're doing. There's going to be a lot of police officers out here. There's also going to be a lot of uh, of our staff in the light blue shirts. Those are traffic enforcement controllers. Ask them a question if you need directions. They'll very much willing to help you. Um, the other things with your valuables. Don't don't place your bag down if you make sure. purchases. Keep your belongings in your front pockets if you're going to leave belongings in your yeah. car. Make sure they're not visible. Those are all the things, the tips that really can help us make sure you're not a victim of a crime. And again, it sounds like common sense. You hear this when we're holiday shopping and yes. doing all that as well, right? Yeah. Okay. No, absolutely. It's the, yeah. same, it's the same premise. Sure. Yeah. So over the years, San Diego PD has always stopped by, and you guys come and we talk about costumes and all these things. Yes. Yes. And times have changed a little bit, Chief. Yes. And with the things that have happened, too, over the past few years, you, I mean, you look at crowds like this, and I know that your team has to be wondering, how do we prepare for such big yes. crowds again? And I've noticed from the second I step foot here, there is so much security and police yes. officers like everywhere. No, there is. I mean, we, we spend months upon months mm -hmm. preparing for this pre-planning, looking at other large scale events across the country, kind of the trends of what is going on. I mean, from when I was involved in planning the security for Comic-Con 10 years ago today, what we do and the, the footprint and the deployment of officers and traffic controllers and overwatch having officers in the observation posts um, and then just the collection of working with our colleagues so from the state local yeah. federal levels mts local security it's one big team we're all in one big command post we're all talking uh, and that is really to provide a great avenue or a great event uh, for everybody to have a great time and be safe and i'm glad you brought up you guys prepare for months and months for something like this because mm -hmm. logistically uh, it, it's a lot of work. It we is. sometimes like to say, oh, this is the Super Bowl of whatever. But first, like, this is the Comic-Con of policing and security yes. and everything else, correct? It's a huge event. I mean, obviously, we're looking at 40 to 45,000 yeah. people inside the venue, all the peripheral events. Uh, so it's our job to make certain that people come here, have a great time, and be safe. And so that's why you see the deployment. That's why you see the technology out. Uh, because it is for us to make certain that people are having a great time yeah. and we're safe. And we are a safe city. And we were going to ask about past Comic Con crimes, but but the good news there is everybody who is here is usually like-minded, yes. and, and and they look out for each other. They do. Yeah. So really, over the years, we really have not had crime other than the stuff that we talked sure, about, sure. the theft and stuff like that. And and we can help ourselves by being smart, by making certain you secure your goods, um, not keeping stuff visible in your car, kind of knowing your your situational awareness, your surroundings. So. 
Uh, well, we see you're in your professional yeah, real costume. Day, okay. right? yes. So as we send it back to the studio, if you could pick one costume, if you could actually dress up and come to Comic-Con. That's a great question. We, thank you, Raul. That's a great wow, question. I got a compliment you know from Raul. <laughs> He is not going to answer. No, he is. No, he is. Well, we're going you know, to press you on this, Chief. You know, Here we go. From, you know, from old school, I'm old. So, you know, I have to go back to the old Batman, Robin, yes. Superman days. Uh, yes. You know, from Which back character? in my era. Wait a minute. I, you know, uh, I got a follow-up question. Batman, Which, Batman's kind of so, cool. Yeah. Batman. But which Batman? I, from, sounds to from me my like, era. It sounds to me like, wait, are you talking about the 60s Batman? With, well, I'm not that old. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, I watched that show too, but you know where the costume was somewhat unforgiving of Adam West and those yeah, guys back no, in the I'm day. Yeah, no, I'm talking more like in the 70s. Yeah, okay. yeah. 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 I appreciate that. See? Thank, you. Thank you for stopping by. Always Thank good you, good to Chief see you. Yeah, yeah, Chief, Chief. Oh, my He'll gosh. I hit the that. Chief yeah. with this. I knew this was going to happen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Chief, thank you as always. We appreciate the time. We know you're busy. Shall we throw it back inside? I'm telling you, this is a weapon. This Why am I doing this? Weapon. This is this is the wrong show. What is this power? <laughs> this is Star Wars, or this is Eleven from Stranger Things. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Eleven. So I don't know why I did that, oh, Chief. Gosh. This is not appropriate for Thor. But oh wait, hold on. I'm trying to get somebody to throw the hammer at me. Need to understand what Thor's doing. Yeah, I gotta catch up. I gotta Google Thor. Oh, jeez. Yes, I love the Wait, that was a hammer drop.